All right, so who is this video for? This video is for any young guys and girls starting out with their own business, particularly construction-based. This is just gonna show you a few systems to put in place. Hopefully this will save you a bit of time and stop you making some of those same mistakes that I made. All right, let's get into it. In this episode, we're gonna be doing a deep dive on quoting. Now, this is a fairly big subject, so I'm gonna break it up into two episodes. Uh, the first episode, which is this one, will be all about the gear that I use. And the second episode is gonna be about the software I use and how I wrap it all up and present the quote. Now, I get it. Quoting is the bane of every trader's existence. You don't get paid for it. It takes up a lot of time. It actually costs you money. But without it, you have no work. It's actually something that I struggled with for a long time. I actually kind of hated it for a while. But um, in this video, I'm gonna show you my workflow, the gear that I use, and the systems that I have in place to make it as fun and as fast as possible. Now, I'm sure there are better ways of doing it. Uh, these are just my ways that I've sort of developed over the last five years. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I'd also love to hear about your workflows. Leave a comment down below. All right, let's go. So the gear that I use made a huge impact on my quoting. The first thing is this. The Bosch GLM80, it's a laser measure. I've already made a little video about it that I will link above and below, so check those out. I go into a lot more detail about that. The second thing that I use, smartphone. I know you all have one. Pretty cool phone. Um, it doesn't have to be a Samsung, could be an iPhone. Uh, the reason I picked this one up was the S Pen, which I think is a really cool feature when I'm out quoting. Um, yeah, just the fact that you can pop your pen out the bottom means I'm not taking a notepad with me anymore. And it's, it's pretty cool. All I take is the laser and the phone. That's it. So um, this is the home screen of my Note 20 Ultra. This is where I keep my notes, like front and center. I use them that often. But yeah, let's have a look at some of these quotes. So each one of these are different clients. Let's take a look at uh, Chris from Bonner Bay. Chris wanted a deck, a pergola, a couple of different prices for materials. Um, the measurements were six by 3.5, two posts if possible, glass balustrades. What I've done here, this really, really messy looking note, I've basically just drawn it, sketched it while I'm there, so I get a really rough idea of what I'm after. That way I can still stay engaged with Chris. I can still talk to him, um, have ideas going back and forth. If I'm gonna sit there and try and draw it to scale now, I'd sort of, I'm, I'm sort of ignoring the client, which is not what I wanna be doing. So this is really just taking some rough notes. I measure it all up with my laser and then just jot everything down here, really, really rough, but I, I can make sense of it, which is all that really matters. When you're actually in your notes, you can, uh, you can just go ahead and attach an image and right here, hit the camera button, take a photo of the job that you're at. I've taken one here and then uh, I took another one here and this is sort of a really rough sketch of, of kind of what we were going for. Um, just a pergola with a deck, some posts, show that to the client and get there okay and you know, everyone's on the same page. So when I'm at a quote, I just pull the S Pen out, hit the plus button, title the job, um, Jane at Miranda. And then when I'm standing there with the client, I can sort of talk them through it. I can also select the grid size that I'd like. So you've got a small, medium and large. Obviously the small is handy if you've got quite a large job large is handy if you've got quite a small job. So if I'm only building something sort of medium size, I'll pick a medium size grid. So you can either go your traditional grid or you can choose your dot grid. And basically if I've got a structure that's six meters, I'll just sort of four meters. That's 
six meters, four meters that way. And then I take all the notes I need to at Shane. So he wants a deck, hardwood. So he also wants to throw a pergola on the top, out another meter over the deck. Then when I get home, it automatically sinks. Then this job, Shane and Miranda, would be on the tablet. And uh, yeah, I can, I can start to draw it all out. And then there is this. This is the Samsung Galaxy Nat Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Now, the reason I've got the Samsung Galaxy Note phone and a Samsung tablet is not because I'm a Samsung fanboy. In fact, I've got an Apple computer right there and yeah, it's just, it's just, it's a good product. So it doesn't really matter if it's Android or Apple. It, that really is not the important part. The important part is having the phone and the tablet, they talk to each other and uh, yeah, that way all my notes that I took on site and now they all now live right here. Let's just have a closer look and see how all these devices work just to make quoting that a little bit easier. And once I'm home, I open up this tablet. Once again, got the notepad down here, got the S Pen right here. And yeah, these are all my notes that I've just taken on site. So we've got Chris at Bonner Bay just here. And this is usually where I draw everything up. A little bit more space, bigger pen, uh, just a lot easier to sort of get into all the detail than it is on the phone. So we can see here, we've got our Shane at Miranda job, six by four meters. He wanted a deck made out of hardwood, a pergola. So then I would sort of get into this in a little bit more detail. These are just straight lines, these ones here. So this is sort of where you could maybe draw in all of your joists. Drawing in all my joists and then I can actually just count them because it's all to scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, and 11, 12, 13. So, so joists, 13 at four meters. Maybe we're gonna want to bear a straight down the middle, so we can sort of just draw that in like that. And then we say bearer, one at six meters. Gonna want one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna want six at 1.2 meters. Zero, concrete. Below my material list is where I write all my labor. Another cool feature actually is the uh, this button right here is an eraser. So yeah, write down the labor, frame, the deck it, handrails. Then once we have all this in, it's time to enter all of this data into the spreadsheet. So I found that Purchasing this was well worth the money. The beauty of this is all of my jobs are here. They all used to live in this and in 10 other notebooks. The notebook would go missing. The client will call me up and I didn't know where it was. All of my jobs are right here. Easy to look back a few months ago, find a job, figure out the dimensions. I'm not looking for lost bits of paper that are floating around the back of my car. Uh, yeah, super simple. All right, so in the next episode, we're gonna be taking our drawings and putting them into the spreadsheet.